Before this video starts, if you don't want some cheap, fast and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team coins, be sure to check out cheapfootgold.com in the description down below and use code SMIG5 for a discount. So what is going on to me today, we do have Carlos Poyle's past FIFA cards. Now, he has just retired from like working at Barcelona, he retired properly in April, but and then he went to like work for Barcelona and now he's just retired from that. So I thought it would be fun to look at a few of his old FIFA cards. So yeah, in FIFA 10 he had 70 pace, which is actually quite quick. 85 heading, 91 defending, 70 passing, 61 dribbling, 48 shot. He he, he was actually like I'd I wouldn't kill for the card. I wouldn't go that far, but I would really like that card if you know it was in FIFA 15. But yeah, 70 pace is really good on Poyle to be honest. To say what is that? Well, what he was at in FIFA 14, the last card he did get. So in FIFA 10, he did get a 91 rated card. He had 70 pace still, but 93 heading, 94 defending, 61 dribbling, 48 shot, and 70 passing. And yeah, that pretty much didn't change much apart from the defending and heading. So yeah, I'm going to jump onto the FIFA 11 cards. Like I said last time, I don't like the look of these, but he did drop a pace because he did get older. 85 defending, 87 heading. In this FIFA, he did get one in form, which was an 89 rated, 69 pace, 95 defending, 87 heading, which is an absolutely outstanding card. And then he did get another, which was a 90 rated in form. His pace still didn't go up, but he did have 97 defending and 90 heading. Now, that is absolutely outstanding on a centre back. Now, in FIFA 12, he he dropped down some more pace. He's on 59 pace now, he did a big drop. So yeah, 88 defending, 84 heading. See, yeah, I was <laughs> I got lost. 56 defending, 56 dribbling, my bad. 50 shot, 65 sh passing. Right, right, hopefully I can make it up on this one. So yeah, in, in FIFA 12, he did get an info, which was 63 pace, which has gone up for 95 defending, 86 heading, 50 shot and 65 dribbling. You get another inform, 65 pace once again. I'm pretty sure, no, the other one has 63 pace. What am I on about? 97 defending, which is absolutely outstanding, just like his old inform. 88 heading, 73 passing, and yeah, what an outstanding card. Now, this one is the big one. The 90 rated Poil, 71 pace. It's just. It's gone back to his FIFA 10 pace, but even better, 98 defending, 92 heading, 82 passing, 70 dribbling. That card is a card to kill for. Now, this was his team of the season card, and yeah, I didn't get any more special cards after this, I don't believe. So yeah, in FIFA 13, he did have his normal card, 55 pace, and this this is where his pace started really going downhill. 56 just dribbling. 48 defending, 87 def defending. I've just repeated that, haven't I? 66 passing, 84 heading. And in FIFA 14, he did drop pace once again. He put, you know, he went down three ratings. This was the year what he did retire, I'm pretty sure. 48 shot, 85 defending, 80 heading, and 64. De I mean, passing. The stats are playing in my head, I really don't know why, so yeah. If you did enjoy this video, can we smash 40 likes? Also, subscribe if you haven't already to be entered into a giveaway, which I will make um, a, a separate video on the yeah, final spit my words out, so yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, peace out.